I'm down the beer room, setting up my computer, TV's fucked, so <coughs> knackered. So I'm reviewing this fella. Ho Garden. This is a beer I have had a love-hate relationship. To be honest, I absolutely hated it. Now I can get on with it. It's strange how beers change, you know, over the years. Will you see it there? Yeah, you will. So, quick pour out. I can't remember if I've done the unlisted thing or I'll soon see if, if someone pops up online. So yeah, down here, fire's on. Good evening. Or afternoon rather. So I'm down the bay room, my TV's knackered. So I'm down here sorting things out. Luckily I've got a spare TV. So. Oh, bless you. Are you in the tier one or tier two then? I reckon they'll put most of us in a tier 4 or lockdown scenario soon. You can see it coming. You really can. So yeah, um, this is a beer I have had a real... When the first time I bought was brought a pint. Oh, you bless you. I should remember really, but I've got a crap memory. Um, yeah, off to the pub. Don't know what that feels like anymore. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, yeah, so, no, I don't think everybody, I think everybody would have on tier, tier 3 or tier 4, or they're going for a full lockdown, but they had to get Brexit out of the way first, which is why Brexit's more important than a lockdown at this moment, at least. So, yeah, golden pour, white said it's a wheat beer, and, uh, yeah, it's not a beer. The first time I drank this, it took me, and I was out drinking as well, three hours in the pub to drink hated it, it was disgusting and yet years on I reviewed it a year or two ago and I actually really liked it how your palate changes over the years still smell that wheaty you know that wheaty aroma off it oh. yeah I couldn't take it. I was like sipping it. I was like, oh, this is disgusting. My mates paid for it. So you know how you are. You, you, you feel bad. Um, yeah, you feel bad not, not drinking it. And I couldn't. And I'm there. I'm struggling like hell drinking it. It just did not taste nice. Now I find it very palatable. Same with the likes of Duvel and, and the other beers like that. It's amazing how your palate changes. So yeah, my big TV's died in the beer room. 42 inch TV. I got it second hand anyway. And we had it up the house for years. And we brought it down here. And it, it's died a death. The um, the power pack's died. So it's not, it goes into standby. It won't come out of standby. Oh damn. What just there? So now I've got a 32 inch Technica. So I'm, I'm doing a swap round. I've got an old monitor that somebody's given me. I'm actually using that now, old TV, LCD TV as a monitor for when I do beer reviews and I need a bit of background info. And now me, me little 18 inch, that's gonna be from, for some game consoles and the 32 inch is gonna be for the main TV. Things you have to do, eh? At least I had to go out and buy a new TV. So fair play to that. Not for the beer room anyway. Don't want to be buying out for here really if I can help it pop from beer, obviously. So massive wheat taste and aroma. Um, people say they get cloves, banana and all that sort of thing. I'm not so sure, you know, I think sometimes it depends what you've had before. Um, in total, in the shed, there's a good 500. <laughs> That's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, quick beer review now. It's only just an excuse to have a beer, really. But while I'm down there, I'm not drinking and wasting a beer. I might as well do a review while I'm here. And I can't remember if I put it on unlisted or public. And then, obviously, I must have put it on public for people to be watching me. But, um, yeah, so, very challenging beer. If you're not a wheat beer fan, I think, you're, you know, it's one of them you're sipping, you're thinking, we don't like that. Or you'll sip it and you love it. It's like wines. I find some beers are like wines where you drink a wine for the first time, it tastes like vinegar. 
and these these are in that same bracket where they've got a, a real taste to it you either like it or you don't very much a marmite of the beer world obviously until you get used to it once you get used to it it's okay i still wouldn't say it's one of my favorite beers um i'm used to wheat beers now wow it's gone straight to my head uh abv of 4.9 percent and uh, yeah it's it's okay it's better than what it was years ago when the first time i drank it and i'm struggling you know three hours supping a beer yeah and that's the good thing about we're all very different aren't we in a lot of ways you know um me sours not particularly a fan don't mind some sours i think it depends what your taste buds are like the ones we've that have better been done in a wine like the two partisan beers from low cost in that the low cost advent calendar they were done in wine barrels as was duchess de begonia another wine based beer sour which is a lot to think about and uh, yeah they were just a, a little bit oh, not my cup of tea you know but you can understand because of its weirdness it appeased the It'll be, you know, for somebody out there, it'd be fantastic. But sadly, not for me. So what's on the agenda with the pub then? Uh, what are you drinking? Oh. I can't believe it. After years and years of not being able to drink it, I can drink it. And uh, it didn't really affect me these days, apart from the strength. It's a bit early in the day. Or oh, Doombar jolly good and if it's cask and it's usually done from sharps themselves um the bottled version is done i think it's either by molson cores i think it's molson cores i.e calling they do the bottled version in their mega factories you know if it's cask i would have thought it's done by sharps themselves there's um because obviously a lot of breweries send the bottling, do, you know, do other companies do the bottling. Oh, bless you. Are we having a meal as well? Jobs are good, in. Yeah, we will, when we come out of this flipping um, lock, you know, tier three that we're in. Although, I think we'll all be in lockdown after today anyway, so. Or, or I think they'll want to do it as quick as they can. New Year's Eve's tomorrow. If you're going to put a lockdown in, you need to kill off New Year's Eve. I was in Tesco's earlier, and there was this bloke at the side of me, big black bloke, and uh, he's uh, raiding all the belly pork. And I'm thinking to myself, I need to ask him what he what he's doing with that. Is he is he um, having a party? Then I looks at his trolley, and he's got about ten bottles of whiskey in there, two crates of Stella or three, might have been three. Loads of chicken drumsticks and all that sort of thing, and then loads of belly pork. And I think, and I was, I meant to be cheeky and ask him and say, How do you cook it <laughs> to get it perfect? You know, the head chef at work, she cooks belly pork, and it's amazing. It's such a cheap meat, but it tastes amazing when she does it. And uh, hopefully, one day I'll get the recipe off her and do it myself. So So the computer's up and running, got the internet to it. Now I've just got to sort out 12 game consoles and two more TVs. All good fun. And I actually got the arse at some stage and actually just go and see the wife before I get moaned at. You know how it is. It's like you don't give them some... Um, although we've spent two and a half weeks together now, you know, me being off work. She thinks she'll be happy for the uh, city. A bit of peaceful time to herself. So, game consoles, yeah, not the PS4, I, we had it on a low firmware and then me youngest son, he wanted to use it, so we put a new firmware on, but it's, the hackings are coming quite quickly, now whether you can get anywhere with the hacks, that's another thing, but yeah, everything else, uh, bar the Xbox 360, I've never been able to hack that. All my other game consoles are hacked, so um, 
in some form at least. And uh, I've got my Mega Drive to hack at some stage. I mean, I'm set up in here. It's not just a beer room, it's a games room. And then obviously it opens into the hot tub room, which is across in the shed that I built across the way to make it like an entertainment area. You know, if anything COVID's learnt us, is that we've all got a great back. If you've got a, a back garden where you can do something, you can make some. You can make an amazing garden. Nice garden, nice entertainment. You know, surprising that a bit of decking, and a couple of and a couple of sheds that are converted into um, beer rooms can make it look great. So ho garden, definitely the marmite for me anyway, of the uh, the you know beer. It's either one you have a love or hate. Um, obviously wheat throughout on the nose and throughout and then there's complex there's a lot of complex flavors it's a belgian beer belgian beers are known for their complex flavors people will tell you that there's esters in it there's cloves probably banana and nutmeg yeah if you can pick them out then fair play um i all that i got was mainly wheat but hey -oh, you know um it's another one off my short dated beer list that's why i'm down here doing this Right, and uh, out of five then, for me, about a 4.1 out of five. And I've just been told there's somebody at, at the house, so I've got to go up. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you soon, and uh, enjoy the pub. Cheers.